Okay, first. Uh, on Greece, uh, following yesterday's uh, discussion, summit, your group, uh, some some questions. The first one, even if there's an agreement tomorrow, there won't be enough time to uh, to conclude all the procedure before the 13th of June. So, was there any discussion yesterday on how to pay the IMF at the end of the month, or what is your assessment on this? Secondly, uh, Lagarde was not present in any press conference, so we don't have we didn't have the opportunity to ask her uh, her opinion about the. The, the the proposal, the Greek proposal, but uh, your interview is the IMF on board, fully on board with uh, the Greek proposal, and your assessment this is a positive step. And uh, another question, if I may, um, uh, will you ask for further adjustments to uh, to the Greek government during the technical talks in these two days? Because I mean, there were some differences, for example, when it comes to the VIT. Okay, uh, lots of questions there. Let me put them in, uh, in a certain context. Uh, President Juncker believes that the proposals put forward by the Greek government yesterday uh, are a significant step forward and a good basis for making progress. Further work is now being done at the technical level to assess the proposal. This work is taking place between the three institutions and in meetings with experts from the Greek government to clarify what still remains to be done. President Juncker is confident that an agreement can be reached this week. Uh, you are asking me what is still uh, probably to be envisaged. I think that uh, what we would like to see other than this uh, fine-tuning of numbers and approaches that is now taking place between the three institutions as we speak is that we would also like to see that the list of uh, prior actions that are mentioned in the proposals need to be spelled out in, in the form of a list, and this uh, work is now ongoing. Follow-up? Well, basically the three same questions that I ask. Uh, was there any discussion on how to, I mean, how to pay the IMF at the end of the month because there won't be time enough to conclude the legislative procedure? Are you going to ask for further adjustments, for example, when it comes to the VIT? And, uh, the third question, my, I forgot my own third question, <laughs> but uh, I have another one, which is uh, Juncker. <laughs> You forgot your questions, but I didn't forget my answers. <laughs> so my answers uh, cover sufficiently the points that you made. As for the payment to the IMF, this is not for us to answer. You have to answer to, to, to ask your question, to address your question to the Greek government. Uh, we are working in the context that I just presented to make sure, as the president said, that an agreement can be reached this week. And the president, for those of you who were there late night, as we were. Uh, also use the football uh, analogy saying that this is a match with no extra time. Sans prolongation, il a dit. Christian. Je ne sais pas si tu veux épuiser le sujet. Perhaps we can uh, move on to another subject once we've dealt with all the Greek questions. Well, I'm waiting for a question. I just don't want to get ahead of anyone who wants to ask something about Greece. Does the Commission's proposal take account of extending the existing program? The Commission is working on the basis of the 20th of February declaration, which speaks about a comprehensive agreement for the current program. And this is the process which we're still involved in. And then it talks about further arrangements after the 30th of June, once the Greek program runs out. Now, because of the delays, we are now in a situation where 
uh, we're moving closer to further arrangements. But I don't want to uh, get ahead and anticipate what the position will be. We're currently doing very important work today and tomorrow, and this will feed into the Eurogroup's work. They may meet on Wednesday evening, and then it will be up to the group to uh, define what the next operational steps will be. Yes, please. Je vous ai pas entendu. Le président Juncker a mentionné hier. We were talking about 30 billion, 30 billion yesterday. Could you just tell us where this money is going to come from? We've got any clarification on that? Yes, perhaps we can uh, get a, a, a colleague just to tell us a little bit about that. The president did raise that matter several times, but he only managed to uh, flag it up yesterday evening. So, yes, allow me to answer in English. Um, the president indeed, like Margarita says, reiterated um, that some 35 billion euros are available from the EU budget in the current finance pe period of 2014 to 2020. That's made up of about um, 20 billion structural funds and 15 billion in agricultural funds. Um, these are available as long as the conditions are met. We are already giving support to the Greek authorities to be able to tap these funds. Um, this is done under the leadership of Vice President Dombrovskis, and I believe we've uh, spoken about this on, on numerous occasions before. Um, the Commission is currently preparing a package on this. Um, as I say, the, and as I think uh, the President made clear yesterday, the package and the 35 billion are um, conditional to the conditions being met, met and also obviously to an agreement being found. Um, more details on the package that the Commission is working on will be spelled out in coming days. So stay tuned. On this, yes, Lorenzo. Can you remind us what the, the co-financing rate is for this? I want to say 10%, but I'd rather check. Um, uh, oh, you mean on the new things? Well, that's part of the package. Adecide. Sorry. Adecide. That's part of the package, and as I say, stay tuned next coming days. Hi, <coughs> Margarita, just a little precision. Are you expecting a list of uh, prior actions to actually be completed ahead of tomorrow's Eurogroup, or is that still up in the air? No, I, I, uh, what I tried at least to, to, to explain is that there are uh, prior actions that are mentioned in the proposals, but as a result of the uh, work that is now ongoing, we would like these prior actions to be uh, spelled out in, in the form of, of a list, of a concrete uh, list of deliverables. Jurek. It's a follow-up question for, for Anika. Uh, uh, one thing is the money available, which is or is going to be made, made available, these uh, 30 or 30-something billion. Uh, the other problem is uh, the ability of, the, uh, of Greece to absorb or to work out uh, projects, uh, which, uh, as far as I know, has not improved because uh, the Greek government had uh, uh, other priori priorities uh, uh, lately. Uh, so, is, has there been any progress on the projects, uh, the projects, the, the projects, the, the identification of projects in, in Greece uh, for absorbing these funds? I believe actually that the absorption rate in Greece is uh, by now one of the higher ones amongst our member states. That's in part due to the work of the task force for Greece and also, obviously, um, the being able to absorb the available funds is part of the work that is being done under the leadership of um, Vice President Dombrovsky. So that's not least. If I if what progress has been made under the, the leadership of uh, President Dombrovsky since he uh, took this this job? Over? We, Jurek, we can check on the figures. If are figures that you're looking, we have them figures there. But I would also raise. Uh, um, um, remind you of our decision last week to create a, a support group for structural reform under Vice President Dubrovskis, who will be operational as of 1st of July, uh, which will incorporate all the expertise available from the Task Force of Greece, the support group for Cyprus, and that would be the most operational tool, if you like, 
that we could use to help not only the Greek government, but all member states that are in need of technical assistance to improve their performance in specific policy areas. Yes, let's do Griselda now. Some question on debt, which I didn't quite understand. I listened yesterday to President Hollande and Chancellor Merkel, and I understood that obviously we have to find a way uh, to get through the current payments. But in the final declaration, there may be mention of the fact that restructuration has to be dealt with in the fo in the future. Is that the most you can offer the Greek government at the moment? And does everyone agree to this? Or is this still an open point in itself? Well, you said uh, you. I'm not quite sure who you're referring to. When the question was put yesterday to President Juncker, just like you have now, he said in English, this is not the time to discuss that issue. Yeah, I understood that. But what I'm also saying is that President Hollande said this isn't the right moment to talk about it, but in the final declaration, there may be a clear reference to the fact that this is a subject for the future. So you, the Commission, do you support that uh, position? Is that still an open debate within the Eurogroup? Or can the debate on debt be closed now? The Commission is working in a particular context. And I've explained what the current context is. So we're concentrating on today's task. And then it will be up to the Eurogroup, i.e. the ministers, to uh, set out how we're going to proceed. So frankly, I just want to uh, stick with the uh, president's position yesterday. I don't want to go any further than that. I don't want to evaluate or, or start setting out hopes for the future. Christina. Hi, Margaritis. One more question. Does the list of the prior actions include any kind of uh, vote in the parliament, in the Greek parliament, before the 30th of uh, June? There again, I do not want to anticipate uh, what is not for the Commission to determine. The Commission is contributing as one of the three institutions to the more substantial work that is taking place as we speak. This question, like other questions, would have to be addressed in the Eurogroup when our member states or member states of the Eurozone will have in front of them the joint assessment of the three institutions. Okay, without being repetitive, Giovanna, and then we switch to Christine. Um, I just said, I'm um, French because I'm going to in French because this is a continuation of what uh, had been uh, said. Uh, do you think that the Greek debt is sustainable? Yeah, I've been asked this question many times, um, and I always said that it uh, wasn't the spokesperson of the Commission who had to tell you something and give you a position in the press room. Those questions are being debated where they need to be debated, with the Greek authorities, with uh, the participants to the Greek program, and all other actors. It's not up to us here to give you an answer. You can take your question to them, and after a joint assessment, uh, they will be the one uh, to decide after the ministers have uh, debated all these issues. Tu me fais signe sans comprendre. Faire ma question, je voulais juste retenir Annika parce que je voulais un no, I have another question to ask to Annika. When you say that the co-financing rate for a structural fund for Greece has to be determined, I think that the lowest has been uh, decided upon, 5%. Are you going to increase it, or are you going to maintain at least the 5%? This was the, the other question I wanted to ask. Yes, we've uh, received that question in the context of the new proposals uh, for the uh, 35 billion euros, and we said stay tuned, which means uh, rester à l'antenne in French. Yeah, probably there were uh, some trouble on the transmission lines. Uh, 
another question on another topic.